Hey there, Poke fans! Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and this is Season 7, where we make a team, hit Master Rank, which we're still underway of doing that, playing five games a day using the team that we built from scratch. Now, we are going to be working with this team all the way through the Season 7 until Regulation D uh, comes out, which has been confirmed by not only Nintendo, but in the software in itself. Now, the first thing you might going to notice after I get done talking is that none of this at least none of my vocals was recorded while recording this uh, episode. So I'm going to go ahead and just skip to the matches. You will just hear the, the ASMR part. So you'll just be hearing the gameplay. So it's not going to be a whole lot of me deciding what the, the team is going to go with. Uh, unfortunately, for some reason, it just didn't come up when I go to record. And I'm sorry. Uh, there's no way to, for me to like unrecord something and just re-record it. it. It's already been uh, reflected, but I will do my best to make sure it doesn't happen next time. But other than that, enjoy the video and I'll see you guys when my voice comes back at the end. Well, it's about 12 or 13 minutes in, but I'll see you guys then. Enjoy.
Okay. Oh, there it is. Stream speed range to jump bluff. Icy wind. We'll undoubtedly kill jump bluff, unfortunately. And dazzlingly. We'll annihilate the iron bundle. And we're going to go ahead and bring in Chin Pao. Why not? Okay, so King Gambit versus Chin Pao. Sword of Ruins is going to be uh, coming in. Okay, so is he going to... I mean, it wouldn't be best to... To, to do that with Dragonite, right? So it's probably just go into to these slots here and just call it good. Probably. It would not make any sense to Terra. Also, hi ladies and gentlemen. I didn't realize that my mic didn't pick up in OBS. So in the first match, you got pure bliss of not listening to me. But I want to thank you guys for watching as long as you have. I appreciate it. Okay. So, jump off. Terra, we can change it to something else. Oh, extreme speed, still? That's, that's really, really weird. Um, probably do steel, fire. I mean, we could go water, but I don't see a point. Would that make any sense to you guys? Iron Head right into the Chan Pao. Unfortunately, he goes down. And then now we just bring out our own uh, Gyarados. He sends out Great Tusk. Cool. Oh, Defiant. Neat. Um, we're probably... We got Tailwind off, right? We did not! Oh, interesting! Oh no, Iron Bundle killed us before we got it off. That's right. That's right. Alright, yeah, I'll just... I'll just set up to this. I think that's the best way that I can handle it. It's just set up to that. Defiant is pretty interesting. Gives uh, two stages to attack. So it's only it's only like a plus one because he can only realistically upgrade his attack uh, one stage because he has to compensate for the by or the uh, minus boost. Um, Great Tusk is gonna tear a fire, which is interesting. Uh, Sucker Punch into Fluttermane, which will not knock it out. Great Tusk will now then do Rock Slide, which will knock out Fluttermane. So Tusk is uh, Terra, or Scarfed. Hey, probably, I don't know. Waterfall right into the Great Tusk, which will not knock it out, but it gets pretty close. Um... Yeah, why not? I think we lost this one. I think. Gyarados avoids the rock slide. Waterfall will come in to knock out. Oh, what? Almost knocking out the Great Tusk. What? Katal Cleave. With a plus two, that still hurts quite a bit. Citrus Berry is going to come in and rescue us. Thank God. I think Great Tusk is scarfed. And if that's the case, we are uh, in kind of good standing. Let's, let's attack King Gambit. Let's see what happens. Nope. Rockside comes in. <laughs> that is that is a loss. Okay. So internal notes. We're back down to the bottom of Ultra Ball, which is totally fine. We are currently at three and four out of our seven fights. So hopefully we start winning um, our matches. Okay. Next match is up and we've got Palafin, Arcanine, Iron Bundle, Great Tusk, Fluttermane, and Amoongus. We are kind of in a 
terrible spot here, if you ask me. Because there's a lot of Pokemon in here that could obviously take us down. Iron Bundle being the hardest one to, to counter at the moment. Um, because Iron Bundle's in the team, I'm almost told to bring in Torkoal and Jump Off so that I outspeed Iron Bundle by a lot. Because that's how Chlorophyll works. Um, I think that's that's what it's going to be. We'll bring in these two. And then we'll bring in Fluttermane and Chan Pao. But we're we're opening the door for half their team. So I'm hoping that we... I hope that we get the uh, the benefit here. Is He's almost has to bring in an Iron Bundle. I feel like I've played this person before. But he has, he has to bring an Iron Bundle. Because that is a, like, 100% a thing. Which he does. Iron Bundle and Great Tusk. I open up with Torkoal and Jump Luff. Drop cooks in. Photosynthesis, Photosynthesis goes off. And their attack was heightened. But now Chlorophyll goes up. And then we got Energy Booster. Or Booster Energy, whichever. And Speed was heightened for... The man, the myth, the legend over there. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and Sleep Powder. The... Um, Iron Bundle. Because Great Tusk can't hit us. I mean, you could close combat, but I don't know why you would. Iron Bundle's now asleep. Headlong Rush goes into our Protected Torkoal. What would... Doesn't really have anything. I'm gonna swap. Into Chi and Pao. And I'm gonna Sleep Powder. The Great Tusk. That's my only option here. Now, Iron Bundle has to take its... Its, uh, standard... Standard... Turn... Of sleep, which I believe he did last turn, but we'll see. He will protect, which is a good call. Sleep powder. I think Iron Bundle is asleep again. Yep, still asleep. Good, good, good. Chan Pao will now Sacred Sword into Iron Bundle, and I will Sleep Powder Great Tusk. If I can keep Great Tusk at bay, I'm going to be okay. But right now, Iron Bundle is going to be asleep. This is a terrible turn because I did Sleep Powder on that slot, on that slot which is going to be a Moongus. It's going to ignore it. So that's a good call. But now I'm going to Sacred Sword into Iron Bundle, which is unfortunate that it's still asleep. So that's a good call by them to swap out Amoongus into that slot. I was really hoping that I would have woken up though. Here comes Great Tusk. Photosynthesis will go off again. Talon's not up. Okay. Wind has to go up. That's going to be a huge benefit to my team right now. Tailwind has to go up now. Amuga says protect. Good call. But wrong slot. Are you going to double protect though? You do not double protect. And I go with Tailwind. That gives me a boost from my team. Torkoal's out off the field now, so I don't have to worry about that. And I hit. The Great Tusk for a lot of damage, and he'll go in for the close combat, in which Champau will survive because of the one HP aspect. So let's go. Focus Sash makes it so I stay alive. Are you using Reject Pack? You are not. So this is going to be very interesting. Um, I'm going to protect here, and you turn. I mean, I could. No. No, don't pollen puff. Don't pollen puff. 
Pollen Puff is good. But it won't do anything to prevent him from sleeping people. So I'm going to Pollen Puff the Great Tusk instead. I mean, he could protect here, which is totally fine. Okay. That's a that's a, a, a decent call, but Pollen Puff is going to go into the Great Tusk still because I'm still grass. So I ignore that. But I thank you for the offer. Sunlight's now gone. Who's your last Pokemon? Fluttermate. And I'll go ahead and Pollen Puff now. Okay. Sucker Punch will fail. Pollen Puff. Dazzling Gleam. Ah, thought I would be able to make him survive. Unfortunately, that's not how this works. But now I will bring in my own Fluttermane. Which I do believe Tailwind is still up. It is for one more turn. I'll go ahead and Terra, Dazzle, nope, Shadow Ball. And I will Pollen Puff. No, I'll Sleep Powder. I'll Sleep Powder his Fluttermane. That's probably the better bet. Okay, now they're going to Terra. It's going to be Fluttermane. To be Fire. So it takes away from the weakness of uh, Shadow Ball, which is totally fine. But I do suddenly land a critical hit and drop its special defenses, which I'm okay with. And then I sleep it so it can't do anything this turn. Because I am that much of a douche. <laughs> oh no! Among Us, what are you going to do? Sleep? Please do. That'd be great. Yep, Spore right into that slot. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And my team, uh, their Tailwind is gone. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and Shadow Ball again, and Tailwind. Amoongus right now can't do anything to me. It can't redirect my attacks. I mean, it could have tried to attack me, but it's not going to really do anything. But I'm going to activate Tailwind again. Oh, it's good. It's going to pop up. That's cool. So we're going to attack that, and we're just going to go right into the U-turn, into that slot. Um, my flare remains asleep. Is yours asleep now? I hit you with the U-turn. Oh, that was a hard hit from the jump up there. But I'm going to bring in uh, Torkoal now. Here comes the drought. And these two will get a boost. Mine will go up in special attack. What about yours? Or synthesis. Special attack was also heightened. You're still asleep. And you do pollen. Pump. Not bad. Now I get to go into this and I'm going to go right into eruption. My Fluttermane still stays asleep. Is woke up. Dazzling Gleam. Won't do a ton of damage, but it will lower the damage for Eruption quite a bit. Will unfortunately knock out the Amoongus.
So now we're going to do this, and I'm just going to help in hand it. Maybe he'll wake up. Help in hand. Wake up. Wake up. He wakes up. Here comes the Shadow Ball. And it's going to do a lot of damage. Boom. And match three is when we first get our victory. And now we are one and two for our five fights. Oh, so close. So very close. For a while, I didn't know that we were going to make it out of there, but Sleep Powder was coming in clutch. Clutch. And because of Drought, so much clutch. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. Oh, that didn't update. Wait. That really didn't update. Alrighty, and our next matchup is ready to go. We've got Titar. Or Tyranitar. Garganacle, Entity Female, Iron Bundle, <sighs> Arcanine, and Houndgrave, or something. I think that's his name. I'm not 100%. No, Graveyard. That's right. Graveyard. Okay. Uh, Because he's got Iron Bundle, I'm almost told to bring in these two. Uh, the problem is, what else do I bring? I think um, Gyarados and Great Tusk is going to be the beneficial officiaries here. He does bring in Indidi, which not only knows Trick Room, but Psychic Surge. And while I can get rid of it with like um, Ice Spinner, I don't know anyone on this list is going to be weak against Ice. I mean, Garganagle might, I'm not 100% sure, but I leave myself open quite a bit too. So I think this this team right here is going to be their best and uh, we'll give it a shot. I mean, why not? I, it, what, what, what can happen? We lose? Oh man. <laughs> we are building a team from scratch and we are going to try to hit uh, Master Rank in Season 7. So, and with a better win-loss record. I know that you guys didn't get to hear the intro because for some reason the mic didn't register, but... You know, that's that's the thing. Iron Bundle and Arcanine. So we kind of called that. It's okay. We don't need to have the Intimidate on right now anyway. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and get started. Because we got the Drought. You've got the Cork Drive. So Booster Energy was, take, or was used. We're going to Protect here. And we're going to Sleep Powder there. Kind of like we did last time he was through arcanine which is a good choice get that intimidate you know fodder going and here comes titar which is going to drop our speed for uh jump bluff hydro pump will go into Porco, which will not land and we sleep powder the iron bundle. Now, Titar is going to most likely be built with a salt vest. So it's a good thing that we didn't bring in Chien Pao because Sash would have been broken there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and. What would happen if I did Helping Hand to jump up? What, what attacks do we. We got Pollen Puff that super affects it. We got U-Turn that super affects it. But is that beneficial? I think switching out to... We're going to switch out to Great Tusk and we're going to Sleep Powder the T-Tower. I think that's the play. Because now we're going to force them to either Terra T uh, Tyranitar or risk being hit with um, Headlong Rush or even um, Close Combat. I think Close Combat is what does it. But Sleep Powder is going to hit on the T-Tar. Now those two are going to be asleep for a while. Especially with uh, T-Tar, he has to have his dedicated turn of being asleep. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and use close combat on the iron bundle. And we're going to go ahead and use U-turn or not U-turn, but tailwind on my side of the field. We need to get that off before iron bundle wakes up and he's still asleep. Thank you. Jesus. Tailwind now goes off. Close combat will now hit the iron bundle. 
Knocks him out. Get out of here. Now it's cool. Iron Bundle gets taken out. Our Eject Pack gets taken off. And then Torkoal comes back in and uh, resets the weather. So while it may not work right now, but look at this. Torkoal comes in and goes, hey, it's now sunny. Thanks for trying. And Titar remains asleep. The only thing is, is that that eject packed strategy can only work once. So that's that's it. That's cool. OK, Arcanine will now come out on his side of the table. Or is my attack? That's totally fine. Um, but Jump Bluff, unfortunately, needs to get out of the field now. So I'm going to protect with Torkoal. I'm going to U-turn into Titar to get him off the field. Because Arcanine can still use Extreme Speed or Will-O-Wisp to kind of do some chip damage, but it's probably not as beneficial as it should be. But I need to get Jump Bluff out of here now. Oh, we proc Weakness Policy. Oh, interesting. Okay, which means that you're not Assault Vest. So you are going to be a primary focus right off the bat. But now I lower your attack one whole stage. So your your two stages now goes down to one. Use Snarl, which isn't going to hurt uh, Torkoal much. You'll do a little bit of damage to Gyarados, but who cares? And Tyranitar woke up to do Rock Slide, which won't do anything to Torkoal, but will do quite a bit of damage to uh, our Gyarados. Oh, it'll knock it out. That That's also 100% true. But now we're going to bring out our big boy, Great Tusk, which is going to get a huge boost now. Now, if I had Earthquake, this would be like a cool strategy, but unfortunately I do not. So it's not going to actually we're not going to do that. We're going to help in hand the Great Tusk here and we're going to headlong rush right into that T-Tar. I should honestly do close combat, but I already clicked it. So we'll see what happens. He could change T-Tar to flying in which this attack would do nothing. But even with flying, would fighting really hurt him? I don't think so. But here comes the Terra on Titar, and it's going to be Ghost. Oh, interesting. OK. OK. I see you. I mean, Headlong Rush is still going to do a lot of damage to you. Is it going to do enough, though? Just barely not. Just not enough. Will o Wisp will go into the Great Tusk, though. And Great Tusk will now do what? Rock Slide. Which will do a lot to the Torkoal, unfortunately. Because he's burnt, he's going to do a little less damage. Now, let's do a heat wave. Because why not? I can also do knockoff, which is really funny if you think about it. Uh, Tailwind goes for one more turn, and we got Arsh, Sunlight, and two. Um, you know what? Yeah, heat wave. I don't think. Torkoal is going to attack here, though. So I think Protect is best. And we'll knock off uh, whatever Tyranitar's holding. Oh, wait, we already knew what he was holding. He was holding Weakness Policy. But this will knock him out. Because I go first. And Rock Slide's a problem. So, bye-bye. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Thanks for playing. And Flare Blades right into the Torkoal, which isn't going to do a whole lot. You should have went into the, the Great Tusk. You're kind of leaving him there. Torkoal, even though it has Helping Hand, isn't really doing a whole lot. 
Just saying. But now the uh, the speeds out are now even because unfortunately Tailwind is gone. And Sun is also going to be disappearing here pretty quickly. Uh, Houndstone. Not Graybeard. It's Houndstone. Okay, we're going to help in hand the Great Tusk and we're going to go ahead and just do knock off on the Houndstone. Because that last remnant or whatever, that move that does more damage for how many knockout Pokemon are behind him, that sucks. I don't want to deal with that. And I don't think he's faster than Great Tusk. We'll, we'll see. And he's not. So, oh, well, it does a little over half. But I did knock off his choice scarf. So now he's even slower. Torkoal will not fall with two HP remaining. Arcanine will get hit by the recoil and last, last respects into the Great Tusk, which will do a lot. No. God dang it. Sunlight faded. And now it's just Jump Luff. And poor old Torkoal here with just barely any HP left. We're going to protect here and Sleep Powder the Arcanine. See if we can draw out this game just a little bit more. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really, really tough. I think we could do it. Protect. Because I definitely outspeed these two. Sleep Powder the Arcanine, which will work. Arcanine is asleep. Now, are you gonna last? Yep, last respects the, the jump bluff. Uh, is he faster than the Torkoal? I think at this point, it doesn't really matter, right? I'm just gonna click Heat Wave and see what happens. Arcanine's gonna wake up. Probably not. Nope, he's asleep. Do I attack before Houndstone? Nope, I do not. Good game. Woo! Okay, so for that match, we know that um, Earth Power would have been super handy for Torkoal. I was going to say, well, the last time that you said that, nothing updated, but now we're in nine matches. We're four and five. It's not bad. It's not bad. Hopefully we uh, we get another W. So we ended at five and five, because that'd be dope. Okay, so rank 10. Let's go. Our final match of this video. We've got Fluttermane, Chi Yu, Iron Bundle, Chan Pao, Dragonite, and Ting Lu. Holy cow. All right. If we had a, a team of overpowered Pokemon, this is it. So now they have on our bundle, we have to bring in our Torkoal uh, Jump Bluff uh, open. What else do I bring for the rest of it, though? Uh, Fluttermane and Great Tusk. I think those are going to be like the best ones to, to bring in. Gyarados was really, really helpful, but because he has Iron Bundle, I have to bring in the, the full sun core just to outspeed just that Pokemon. And again, if we wanted to keep the ta the uh, the Tailwind mechanic, we could swap out both Jumpluff and uh, Torkoal to, to bring in Talonflame and Klefki. We can have our sun user uh, come out and we can also have our Tailwind user come out. But I think that defeats the purpose because if those two come out just to swap in the, the other two, it may not be like the best ones to, to have. At least that's how I uh, see it. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with me. But we have Iron Bundle and Chiyu. Start off the match. Okay, 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 okay. Problem is, what do I do here? I have two people who literally stare me down with no regard with any to anybody else. Uh, I have to sleep powder. Um, yeah, I have to do iron bundle. Like I'm times four to ice right now because jump bluff is um, grass flying and ice does not do well with that. I love how I went from a dragon ground to a grass flyer. I, I love that for me. It's it's great. All right, 
They're gonna Terra Chi you into grass. Good call. However, I didn't focus on that Pokemon first. I actually chose Iron Bundle. Unless you protected here, in which that was an excellent call. And you didn't, so I'm gonna sleep. Sleep Powder is the person that is ultimately faster than anyone on my side of the team. So there's that, and you're gonna Dark Pulse? Into the Torkoal. Interesting, okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna start erupting. I can't Sleep Powder him anymore. So I think this grass, who, who do I have? I'm going to this grass. I mean, close combat is still a problem. Yeah, we're going to get, um, we're going to get jump up out of here. Do it a little bit of damage to Chi Yu, lower his uh, stats down a bit. He's probably scarfed. So I'm gonna swap to a uh, Great Tusk, because we need to get Iron Bundle out of here. I'm hoping that they'll stay asleep for one more turn. Heat Wave. Which Torko will avoid, and Great Tusk will also avoid. Let's go into the eruption, which will now take down the Chiyu. And the Iron Bundle, let's go. Get out of here, both of you. Let's go, let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I was not expecting that whatsoever, but I will totally take the dubs. Woo! Okay. Tinglu. Good call. And if it is it Arcanine? It is not Arcanine, but it's Fluttermane. Alright. Alright. Photosynthesis will now kick in. And special attack was heightened. Okay. Oh no, did I I betcha that's gonna be me again, isn't it? No, it wasn't me. It was them. It still sucks, but I got the W. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, the roller coaster, guys. That was insane. Okay, still, I hate that when that happens. That would have been like a great turnout match, but my God, I hate it when that happens. It bugs me so much, especially as a content creator. That match could have gone so many ways. Ah, uh, oops, wrong button. <sighs> Wait, what? what do you mean it didn't change? Wait, what? What do you mean it hasn't changed? That's uh, whoa, okay, what's going on here? I'll be right back in just a minute. So, I have restarted my game, turned off my Switch, and my status still hasn't changed. We won that fight, right? That, that was it. We got points for it. At the very end, we got points for it. I want to say that we did. I'm, I'm going to play through some of the footage again, but for some reason, this isn't updating. It kind of did that before. Oh, no, we don't we don't need it to play in twice. All right. Well, we will wait a couple of minutes until we see the the rank update. Uh, by this time, I will be working on the team uh, a little bit. We did win by a, a disqualification or at least DC for the system. So we want two and three, which would give us a five, five or ten wins or um, ten games, five wins, five losses. So we are exactly tied 50 percent. We are close to that goal. Now, 
Until it updates, I, there's nothing else I could do for now, but we do have 10 whole games under our belts. So we'll go ahead, at least for now, do the outro that you guys are probably used for me saying. And then in the next video, hopefully the rank changes and goes up. And if it doesn't, I will play one extra game just so that we can be at 15 games instead of 14, because this is really annoying me at the moment. But regardless, I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope that you've enjoyed the video so far. And if you guys have, you can go ahead and show your appreciation by leaving a like. If you like the video, that's what you do. You click the like button. But if you didn't like it, you can also click the dislike button. Leave a comment down below of what you would make changes for the team if this was yours. And if you have any suggestions on maybe making the team better. So far, I'm noticing a huge discrepancy for team or for speeds, but it's only because of the fact that I'm heavily reliant right now on Tailwind. So I think having the speed increase would be fantastic, but I cannot sacrifice a lot to, to be able to get there, if that makes any sense to you guys. Now, if you guys want to keep in touch, or at least see when the next upload hits, you guys can hit the subscribe button and you can hit the bell if you'd like. It really helps the channel out quite a bit. And it also lets me know that you guys like the content that you see. So, and that is it. That's all that I've got for you. But I want to thank you guys for watching one more time. And I'll see you later on today for our second video for season seven using the team we built from scratch, making it to master rank. I cannot wait for regulation D though. That's a, that's a thing now. That's totally a thing for sure happening. I can't wait, but I'll see you guys later. Peace.